Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and I was fast-forwarding the game to the next morning for this coming episode, and noticed that sunset, so that I'd record that for you so you can see it over here by the chicken coop. Just gonna get ready to clean up the eggs for tomorrow and get started, and wow, look at that. Well, bees are still leaving the hive, going off for last-minute pollen. Anyway, I will catch you tomorrow. Hold on. Well, I thought I would time-lapse that sunset to sunrise for you, and and wow, the, the fog just rolled in right here at the last second. I didn't want to move my mouse and lose the camera angle here, but yeah, that's where we are. Yeah, that, that changed quite a bit, right at 6 a.m. I don't know if that's cloudy or if that's just morning fog or what that is. Anyway, let's run over here and grab all of these eggs was going to do that through the night, but then I saw that sunset, and that kind of changed my plans. Today, logging. I need to get over there to the uh, to the store and pick up everything we ordered from our, our Sears and Roebuck catalog last time. <laughs> well, if that's not all of them, that's a lot of them. There's one. Okay. Hop over here, and, and let's Uber over there. Alright, so I advanced time a little bit to get us out of the, the fog that had taken over the area. This is the Scorpion King. This is what we picked up last episode, and it's mighty impressive. Oh, engine on. Uh -huh. And truth be told, I actually spent uh, last evening trying my best to record this episode. This is a booger to use on first time. It's it's tricky. I could not figure it out. Finally, I just gave up and shut down the recording, sat back and spent the evening playing the game. And I figured it all out, but uh, it, uh, it, it's got quite a steep learning curve. But uh, right here, it's uh, it's quite impressive. I'll show you all the, how it works. So uh, left mouse up and down and left mouse side to side. And that is quite a fluid attachment there. <laughs> and then right mouse moves this guy up and down. Woohoo! And then side to side extends the boom. So that's how that works. And both mouse buttons that do anything? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. So both mouse buttons there, that's side to side. Up and down doesn't do anything. Okay. Because I was fighting that last time, trying to get that thing to rotate. I basically recorded myself driving all the way out to a forest area, whacking this against a tree several times. Every time that I would try to wrap around the tree, I thought I had to press B and clamp it. But instead, it would close up and kick away, and wouldn't work. And what was I think I can do to get it to work? Now, one thing this can do is... Let's see... B. Y over there will change cut length from 1 meter all the way to 8 meters. So 8 meter long logs is what I was cutting off of there. Oh, he's noisy. And problem is, once you run them through this guy and it spits out a clean log 8 meters long, you can't pick it up. And so I couldn't pick it up to put in my, my logging bed there, truck, sitting on this guy hauled by this guy <laughs> we'll do that in a minute so i was kind of stuck so i ended up having to go over to the shop and picking up one of these just so i can manipulate the this guy the uh, the logs so let's lease him already because he's definitely going to be needed for what we're going to do back out of there this guy right here um tab should put me in him turn him off so this guy will reach out and 
Grab the log on the ground there, and let's see. Open up and pick it up and do all that we need. And drop him in. To this guy, though I end up putting him mostly in this guy. So we might change and not use the IT runner for the logs. I might just use these two guys. Then I'll also um, grab the, uh, uh, the telehandler from the sheep area for all those logs that landed... Well, when I was using this one, landed up at a weird angle, just balanced on one of those gray spikes and ready to fall out, needed to be pushed. That was before I brought this over, which I could use to push something over, too. I love the way that swings. That feels so real. Look at the way it, it the weight throws the shocks around on the vehicle. You can dance with this thing for an hour. Just have fun. Anyway, so it's these two guys I think we're going to primarily use. And it's such a long trip at 14 miles an hour to get there. I'm going to cut away to do that. However, first, since we've got this, I want to show it off. A little... Yeah, I guess we can see well enough. I want to show you how this IT runner pack works if you haven't already uh, used it. Wow, that's a fast tractor. He just zipped over there. It steers fast, too. Very different from the Warrior or the Massey Ferguson we've got. Wow, I have to get used to that one. Alright, so I'm going to go for the logs over there. Well... If we're not going to use that, then most likely the next thing we'll be using is, is this one for the wood chips. Alright, let's do this, which is not going to be an easy pickup. But before we do, we need to hit X. That arm goes back and grabs whichever one of the attachments, attachment boxes we want to put on this, this uh, running gear. So there's a whole variety of them available. I just have to go through the shop one category at a time to try to find them all. But with that, let's see if we can get this guy somewhat lined up with him. Kind of a hard place to do this. Almost got it. Uh, here. And here. Did that fix it? That made it worse. Okay, let's drive it out here a bit. Alright, so to crank it harder, get it started sooner. Yeah, that's fairly close. Yeah, right there. Hit Q, it should grab it and haul the thing up there. And I'm wondering what moves on here. All right, we've got a uh, uh, a bed to roll. I assume there's rollers underneath. And those rollers at the back. Yeah, see if we can... Well, we'll watch this first and we'll swing out to the back. He grips it, pulls it up. Oh, Q, X pulls it up. Okay. And it rolls back on these rollers here. I think that's pretty awesome. And then locks it into there. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's back him into there. Yeah, let's try doing it ahead of time. There we go. Something like that. We'll just leave him there for now. Okay. But I'm going to cut away and get both of these uh, Ponzi. Ponzi, that's a Ponzi, what does that say? The Buffalo and the Scorpion King. I like it. Over to an area where we can start using them. We'll be right back. All right. Out here in the woods with the Ponzi Buffalo. <laughs> and I brought uh, the whole gang over. I just changed from mine and went ahead and put the, uh, the log... Uh, bed, I guess we'll call it, onto the IT runner. And then got the Scorpion over there and also brought over the uh, the telehandler. Just in case, I went ahead and bought a, let's see here, shift tab tab? No, that's going the wrong way. Oh, I see it's tab tab. There we are. Um, the Manitou also picked up the, uh, uh, the log fork, I want to call it. I've got one of these. There it is. Now he can say hi to you. Well, that's delayed. <laughs> um, so between the four of them, we should be able to accomplish something here. This is something, though, I wanted to show you if you haven't seen this before. There's a tractor that does this, too, but there is a feature here to turn around and steer from here. Uh, there's a tractor I saw, I think it was Daggerwind that was using, uh, I assume it's one of the stock tractors, but it also had a seat that turned around and another steering wheel back there. 
None of ours have that, unless the new one does. Let me pop back into this guy. Uh, have you, you do, this is it right here. So the Voltra S series. So if I were to, I think it's control, well, I don't remember now. It's not there. Okay, I'd have to start it. I have to start it. Huh, change tool selection. Detach. Interesting. Well, let's go to the other one. This guy right here is not it, right there. Uh, left control B. Does that work? Uh, C, turn you off. Left control B. Didn't do it. There is, a, maybe I have to have something attached to it that I can actually drive with it. You know, so like a, a uh, the stump grinder would be an example. Something you need to control more easily by looking out the back end. Maybe at that point it'll give me the option to do something. But let's get back into, let's see, I want to go forward to this guy right here. So if I were to hit uh, left control and B, it rotates me around. It gives me the controls of this guy. And a little easier to see it. So, that is cool. Anyway, we're going to start off with the... Am I on? Yes. Start off with this guy. And with me not making the mistakes that I made yesterday for an hour till I finally gave up on it. Anyway, open this guy up. One thing is interesting. C puts me in cab. And C gives me the... the uh, what is that that head called. Why am I only going that far? Oh, okay. From here. So, oh, that's, that's the steering wheel. There's wheels that were steering. But I cannot move my camera to show that I was actually doing that. That's what I was doing. But what would you call this guy in the end? Uh, impressive, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in and use them. And I'll try to do all that I learned. I had a hard time getting logs from that guy into him. And so what I've learned is that I've got to come off from a side and then kind of turn into it. Because it's all a matter of how you drag it backward to get it somewhat lined up with the trailer. But let's dive into here. Let's, see, let's go out this way. Where's the trunk? Right there. So if we were to... Let's steer into this a bit. Not like so. All right, stop there, and let's actually, nope, let's back out the other way. I'm going to feel like a complete noob doing this. You're going to go down, and you're going to go up. All right, something like that. Over. There we go. Now, let's drive into this guy and nestle him around the trunk right there. Back up a touch. All right. Zoom in far enough to see it. Hit the X, which is one of the things I didn't figure out yesterday until too late. And it cuts it off and grabs it. And now you've got control of this thing. So if I were to lift up and drive backwards, it would fall forward. And this going downhill stuff, I just have to barely touch it. And he just keeps on going. But I want to get over here. Turn him like that. No, that's wrong. You're up. You're over like that. There we go. Now, that's actually lined up pretty good. Though I am a little bit too far, too close to the truck. I want to go forward a bit if I can. Right there. Now, watch what this thing does. First of all, why? It's set to 8 meters. Okay. The longest... The longer the trunks, the more you get paid at the, at the sawmill. So you want them as long as you can get them. And... Is it X that I want? I think it is. X. Look at that. And lops it off. Woohoo! Delimbs it, rolls it forward, and spits it out. One more time. Right there. And where'd he go? Oh, he's right next to him. Okay. So that's what it looks like when it works right. When it doesn't work right, then you need this guy to 
fix your your mistakes. <laughs> fix your oops. All right, let's go get another one. And notice I've still got nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars there. Seems like it was just a little over a million when I started leasing all this equipment. You can get a lot of equipment for for was that fifty thousand dollars. I'm trying to figure out how to dive into another map. And do I really want to transfer over millions of dollars so we don't have to wait for you know, 75 episodes to be able to afford to do anything? Or do we just lease everything and do it that way? I'm thinking leasing is the answer. It's not the answer if you're playing it for yourself for real, but it seems to be the answer when... I don't know, you go that way. When you're just trying to make... it. it a slightly more interesting YouTube series. X, right there. And lift up and back up. Falls forward. And this way. And stop. Back this a little too far forward. And here's where it's not going to work right. I cannot give my angle good anymore. He wants to come off in this direction and drop into a bed. I could attempt to to try to realign everything up over like that and then back up for a while and try to eventually manipulate this in place or we just shear it off and use the uh, uh, oh I can never remember the name of that the tell handler the Malibu Marabou what were you called Manitou. That name has never stuck with me this whole series. And let him do all the work. In which case, we'll just spit him out right over... Well, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This little discovery that I made. It's not doing it now. Hold both mouse buttons and rotate. It did... Oh, it's delayed. Well... He's not acting very predictably. Huh. Okay. Right there. X. And X. We'll load those manually. But let's... Oh, now you want to turn, huh? <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can get the next log to go where it's supposed to go. Which means I need to take it kind of off over here. Let's go for this one. Like so. Where's my telescope? It's actually in. Yeah. So I can telescope into a tree if I need to. Alright, we're going to go there. We're going to rotate like so. We're going to drop a little further. And up down like that right there now let's telescope out a little bit now we've got to come up a little right there all right see if it'll work got it he's tipping already yep back up there he goes okay where are we over there. Now, can I keep that somewhat in? Like that. Drag him in. Alright, that's working pretty good. Stop. Now, let's try to go up. Let's tuck it in as I'm going up. Kind of like that. Zoom out, or in some. Now, actually, let's, let's boom in. That would help. Right there. That's aiming fairly good, but we're going in a, quite a diagonal. What if I... How far can I sneak that over? Will that make it? It's really close. Now let's go back just a touch. Now... I don't think there's anything else I can do for this guy. Let's just hit X and see what happens. There's a lot of bounce as it goes. That bounced him pretty hard that way. Now if I were to take him further up... And what? 
rotate like that. That's kind of aiming the right way. Will he stop short or will he fly through the air and land in there? Let's find out. Yep, it swung way off the other side. Yep, there is an oops. That's where I was starting to have problems and finally gave up and went and got something with a crane on it to finish the job. So this guy, let's come back down. He's light enough. I wonder if he'll rotate. Yeah, he's capable, but it, it happened so delayed. I'm turning it right now. Nothing's happening. So I'll turn it some more. Nothing. I'll turn it back the other way. Nothing. And then it goes. Huh. So if I were to do this and turn it. It's mostly turning me. It's hard to do all this with a mouse at the same time. All right. Let's just try driving this thing over to it. That lined it up pretty good. X. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right, so... Let's lift this up and back out of here. Oops, there's more equipment. There's an insurance claim. All right, let's leave you there. Well, no, let's get him out of the way. I'll get it back up further so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, leave you there. And hop out. So I can't actually move. Oh, I can move him. Okay. Drop you along this edge over here and pull you forward. There. You live there. I want to push these that way, and I need to reposition this one. But can I move this guy? Too heavy, but this guy's not, right? There we go. Though he's kind of hard to hold on to. But he's also real hard to lift up that high. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. No, I can't. So I can't really toss him over the side like that. We've got to have something, something a little bit stronger than me. Alright. Scoot you back in. Open you up that way. And how do we get control of these guys? Well, first of all, let's get this guy out of here. Now, take you down to the ground. We'll just see if we can just scoop. I'm not sure if that will work. I have a feeling he's going to push. He's rolling downhill. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, can I go up and angle you like this? Let's see if that'll work. Right in there. Now, drop you down. And I think it was this motion right here. Drop you down further. Okay. Oh, it's that way. Down and... Alright, something like that. Now, let me back up to get away from that other log. Let's see if I can successfully do that. Thought I would bounce it in there. Okay, we'll just open up. There we go. Gotcha. Now, do I put him in now or do I wait? Well, as hard as it was to get him into the, uh, the jaw there, I think I better just deal with him now. Can I, though? That's actually a good question. Do I have the height? Get over the top of these, uh, these, uh, these things. <laughs> okay, let's extend. Wrong one. Like that. Or is it this way? No, it's this way. So many controls. And to go down is like so. Now, I don't want it on top of those other ones. Hello. But I don't think I've got much of a choice. So let's rotate you like so. Alright. Drop you down. Bring you in. In is this way. Like so. Down. And let's open up. Okay. Okay. 
Now, I can get in from behind. Let's see. Oh, this is so tough. There you are. Way too many controls for my brain. I wonder what would be a better way to do this. I know there is a joystick you can buy that mounts to your desk just like a steering wheel. And it's made for, for something like this. But how better... How would you do it better with a keyboard? Don't know. Alright, well, for starters... I want to move you further in. Okay. Now I need to grip this one. Okay, so that's right mouse that way and there, left mouse. Get under him. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, we're gripping everything. Okay, let me back up. Move up. Tilt like this. Try to go in on a different way. So you can see an awful lot of time can be spent logging. An awful lot of time can be spent not doing anything. Let's put it another way. Alright, there. There. Open. Alright, close. He's trying. Lift up a little. Wiggle it around. Close some more. He wants it so bad. <laughs> uh, let's hit downhill. Like that. Open. And close. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> is it enough? It is kind of not enough. Okay. But I think we have a little better access now. Get you down there. I've got to open you up before we go too far. Ooh, just just tickled it there. There we go. Now we got it. Now if I wiggle up and down, will you settle? No, nope, I'm going to lose you again. Ha. Ah. Another try. I almost need to get it out of here. I probably do, but I can't do it with this one. Well, I kind of can. I'll tell you what, let's try this. Let's get back on there again. Open up a little bit more. And close a little. And if I were to drive with it. Let's see, close some more. And lift. Like that. If I were to drive you out, there we go. I could do something like that. And a little further. And now... Let go of you. Hmm. Just wonder if there's any way to push it now. Get you up and out of there. Kind of need to push all of them now. Let's do something else first. Okay. Let's do this. Which one? I just need that one at the bottom there. It's like a big game of pickup sticks, huh? What if we were to push right there? Ah, I like. Okay. Tell you what. Let's now try the buffalo and see what he's capable of. Right there. Now let's see what this guy can do. And I'm already driving backwards, aren't I? Let's get into the cab. And we'll have to go backwards to do this. Now, can I do this entirely from in cab? Maybe. It's much easier out there. Alright, you're going to do that. Click both of them or rotate. And both of them up and down should open and close my jaws. There we go. Like that. Take you down further. See, I don't have the depth here that I do out there. So it looks like I need to extend like that. Okay. Close around you. Lift. And can I sneak you in like that? Kind of. 
Okay. That worked. Then we could grab this little guy here. Oh, I'm hitting my own truck there. Okay. Like so. Close it up. There we go. Now, from here, I want to do this. That'll bring it into the right place. Right there. And then open back up again. And just like so. Oops, you down. You now you can stay open right there, but I need to kick you back out that way. And that way. So that's how he works. And, you know, I didn't set a timer, but I'm going real time. It was probably close to 8.20 in the morning when I finally got all the equipment over here. It was a half hour driving all this stuff over. Half hour real time. So 20, yeah, I've got, let's go till... We'll make this a little bit long. We'll go till 9, 9 a.m. there on the real-time clock. That wasn't the right button. Let's see. What next? Let's get back to the Scorpion King. So, turn you off, and you are a shift tab. There you are. Let's go knock down a few more logs. I'd like to say we're going to fill both of these trucks up completely. Realistically, that's probably three or four hours in game to accomplish that which begs the next question it's going to be another month a little bit more until the next map that i want to do which is the uh the one that comes with the platinum version would be a uh, thinking well it's this south america i'm kind of wondering if it's brazil or just where it is um so what do we do until then I'm really enjoying this game. I want to continue it. We could dive into a different map, uh, B, that... See, how do we get a good angle here? There. Let's take you up a little. Extend you up a little. Take you... Where's my out? Right there. Out is this guy. Like so. Rotate him in. Boy, so many little, tiny touches to make this work. Out. Ah, that looks good right there. X. So there's lots of, of maps to, um, to download and play in the game. Where am I going? I'm kind of going where the buffalo is. Let's see, you're at 10. And let's pull you up into here. So there's maps just for... Uh, logging, for instance. We could spend 20 episodes just doing this. Uh, also, I've pulled out the... Uh, or I've downloaded the... Uh, shift tab. The Westbridge Hills that I used to play on Farming Simulator 13 a lot. And they've changed it a bit. It's not quite the map that I remember. But it's still fun. Okay, I've got to stop talking here if I'm going to aim this right. You're going to go off like so... Right there, stop, raise. So that's a possibility to get into that and, and uh, drive that map for a while and, and maybe specialize in cattle or specialize in just you know a certain thing. Or we could dive into a logging map. There's maps that have nothing but forests. So you're not doing any farming at all. You're just doing this aspect of the game. So if you guys have any thoughts on what you'd like to see, let me know. It's all fun for me, so I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to be doing any certain thing. How am I going to do that? You're going to swing that way. It'd be easier if I move the truck. And that's why I got to, got to thinking the other day, when I, well, yesterday, when I was doing all this, this might actually be fun on a, on a stream, like on Twitch. You know, maybe... I know Vapa's got this game, and I know Murphy's got this game. 
Might be kind of interesting to get the three of us together on one of Vapa's Sunday afternoon Twitch streams. And uh, the three of us try to get all this equipment up and running and someone's backing that truck up to line it up with the with the tree there so I'm not fighting it so much to do this I'm trying to figure out which one to do I want to do that and that that's that's more of the alignment but still it's going to come in at, at quite the angle still going to have a problem with that so someone needs to back up that truck now if I turn off the scorpion he drops the tree and we can't pick it back up again so I have to keep him running. I shift tab over to here. Start him up. And do something like you know, like that. There we go. And pop out of him. Pop back into here. Now I gotta drive this guy forward because he's too close. It's gotta be more like that. How's that angle? Oh, that's pretty good. Alright. Now I want to hit X. Everything's going to jerk, and it's going to change the, the orientation. Not bad. In fact, I'd say darn near perfect. And we're still looking good for this one. Driving forward just a touch, though. And cut. All right, now that's the way it was supposed to work. Take you down a little bit. No, nope, not that way. Just down. I started to steer, too. There, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, 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 and X. Oh, missed him completely. All right, he's he's on the ground. All right, so that's a uh, a Manitou fix. But meanwhile, let's continue working on this stuff. Let's go for that guy. That's not what I wanted. Right there. So let's extend you back in, take you down, and you back in. Yeah, get some of our boom back. We've got the flexibility to reach out rather than already be out as far as we can go. Alright, so... Yeah, I haven't heard, I've suggested that idea to Vape. I haven't heard back from him yet. So it's up to him as to whether he uh, thinks that's the right right environment for his, uh, for his stream. I think that'd be kind of fun. Of course, we're also needing to line up everybody's schedules to make that happen, which is always tough. All right, there. Let's take you in. Wow. That is one strong boom. I hit the ground, the whole tractor tips over. All right, up. I'm sure that's realistic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right about there. That's what I'm trying to do. Up a little more. There. Up a little more. Down. Up. Not nestling into there. How come? Let's rotate you. No, you're right. Let's just drive forward a little bit. Ah, that's what I want. Down a little. Drive in. And back just a touch. Bounce in there. Grab it. Okay. So, let's lift you up and back up a bit. And where am I going? Take you in right alongside here. One thing I don't like are the vehicles that steer this way. It takes your load up there and just swings it violently while you're trying to steer a little bit. So, that's part of the problem why I can't... Uh, so, you go up. Why I can't keep this thing aimed the way that I want. All right, take you in like so, too close. Go back a little bit. Otherwise, I think he looks pretty good. Let's go a little more like that. All right, let's see what happens. Aha, now we're gonna need to tuck these logs in a little bit. That's just a little stub there, so I need to get him a little bit closer. And like so. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, another 10 minutes. Let's grab one more. I think we'll make this at least two episodes long. The, uh, the whole process of doing this work. Let's go a little further in. Let's see. Let's tuck this guy. 
Uh, this one. Like so, and then do that. There we go. Alright, what's a little further into here? There we go, that's a better view. Oh yeah, we got a dead standing over here. Let's grab that one and bring him out. Alright, pull back. No rolling down the hill. Alright, so let's bring him into there. Here where I can see what I'm doing. Like that. Let's rotate him like so. And what best? That one is what I'm trying to do. And then you back down. Am I already on him? I didn't think so. Now, let's keep working him back and forth like that. Getting real close though, aren't I? How far away is he? I gotta get out there. I gotta see that. Still a long ways to go. Yeah, I cannot tell depth in this game. It's just not there. He, he is not willing to stop. The whole time I haven't been touching the accelerator. Be careful on the downhill here. What are you dragging on? You're not on the ground. You are on the tree, though. Okay. So let's bring the boom back in. Okay. Back out. Wow. That thing has a lot of control over the equipment. That boom is way too strong. Alright, I need to back up. Right there. Okay, he dropped into place. And we need to nestle it in a little bit further, it looks like. Uh, telescope out. There. Alright, that's it. X. He grabbed it. Okay. So, I want to lift and drive backward. Slam! Look at it. Lifted up the back end when it hit. That part feels real. We want to go this way. Okay. So we can drag him out of here. Bring him to where it's more convenient. Let me get inside there. There we go. I'm stuck. Ah. Start moving again. Okay, we got a log right there. like so. How you doing? You're looking pretty good. Oops, wrong way. I think backwards from here. Alright, so from there... Oh. <laughs> Looked good. I couldn't see what I was doing. There we go. <laughs> um, pop out of that. There we go. Lift you up. Swing you over. And... I can swing you further drive you forward and then when I swing you back now you're not quite going to be lined up right now let's find out how does he do boom yeah we're going to have to tuck this load in here um let's take you that way quite a bit let's drive back and then bring you back in. Did that help? Well, he's going to line up alongside the other one, but it's going to be too long now. Let's go forward. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay. Now this one I can rotate. No, I can't. There we go. It's only willing to do it a little bit. There he goes. Yeah, it just bounces. Oh, I'm sliding it now. Nothing's happening. So much that I can't remember which way to turn it now. Okay, I'll turn it to the right. Shake it. No good. Okay. There, we're just swinging around a little bit. Now it started to work. Aha! Finally. So drag it back. Now he is not willing to... To, uh, to be nice. Alright, let's try this. Zoom out a little. 
Take him down. Bring him back that way. There we go. And... Oh, that's almost good. Let's find out. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Let's finish off with bringing the manatee over and see if we can tuck this load in. Oh, there's still a piece in there. X. Zzz. <laughs> Let's tuck him up into the woods here. All right. Grab you. That's what we need the pickup truck for. What's the chance that's going to stay on there on the highway? Probably not too good. Stuck, huh? You're stuck. Yep, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, let's jump in this guy and tuck that load in. Then we'll we'll continue this next episode. Got on slow speed, so nothing should harvest for a while. Well, this isn't the best thing to be tucking with. A bucket would probably work really good here. Um, let's close that up. Just use the two. Kind of like a forklift. Now, if we slide through and put that right through the, uh, the window of the Manitou. Let's tuck this way. So we can snag another one. Nope, missed. There it is. All right. Let's get in cab and try that. Nope, wrong one. You go up. You go... I, I gotta see this from the outside. How do you rotate that again? Not that one. There you are. That was hard to figure out. Alright, what can I do with this? Right there and there. I See, I'm looking off from quite, a, quite an angle. Let's snag some of these, tuck them in. That's in. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I can get that guy over there. He's hiding behind the mirror right now. Alright. How does that look? That yeah, looks pretty good. We still have this guy to deal with. And he's uh, actually kind of flattening our tire, isn't he? But I think it's time to call this one done. I think I've done enough damage for today. This has been Noble Rambler, and hit the subscribe down there if you had some fun today, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.